Good morning, everyone. A very good morning. So, shall we begin the session? Yes. In the last class, we have started, or in the last class, we have worked with the revision of the quality system in IT. That is how to deal with the quality system in IT. What are the various concepts that is deal in the IT? What are the various concepts that is introducing the IT? So, let's continue with that one. Next topic is the quality management principles. That is, what are the various quality management principles that is going on? That is. Uh, that is carrying on with the data that is carrying on with the with the content that is available with the content uh, management tools Ex so as explained in the beginning of the chapter we need the principles we need the management principles that need to determine that is used to define the term that is used to define the right thing that is used So that is used with the immersion of the data that is used with the immersion of the detail and lose the sight of our objective a purpose a reason for doing what we do and once we have lost sight of our purpose so once we have lost our sight of the purpose that is used so that will be explained that will be purpose will be explained directions and the decision follow the mood of the fear of the respirators whosoever the respirators whosoever the data that is available so that is used with the that is used with the content that is used with the uh, we can say the theoretical object that is used with the political climate that is used with the fear of the respirators and we can also forget our purpose when heated that means when it is used in a heated and those people who live by the set of the principles whatsoever the principle that is declared that principle will be declared that principle will be very important and those those important who live by a set of the principles often requires the data that is used so that requires with the management uh, so uh, when you say about the quality management principle that is also defined as a comprehensive measures then we have talk about various objective what are the various management principle that is talking about so what are the various modes of the movement that is used uh, that is used to make the make the movement of the content make the movement of the data they are swept by the political climate or the fear of the respirators whosoever the fear of the respirator that is used now when I want to define the quality management principle that can be defined as a comprehensive and the fundamental rule of the belief for leading and operating an organization aimed at continually improving performance over the long term by focusing on the customers while addressing the needs of other interested parties. What's about the interested parties? What's about the data that is acquired that is used with the interested party that is used with the interested data? Eight principles have emerged as fundamental to the management of quality. What's over the management of quality? What's over the management of data that is acquired that will be used with the quality that is used with the management of the content that is used with the management of the data? And all the requirements of the ISO 9000-2000 are related to one or more of these principles. And these principles provide the reason for the requirement. And this is very important because these are the management principles that is gathered together for the data, that is gathered together for the, for the, for the content that is acquired, for the data that is acquired with the principle and that is acquired with the various guidelines. <laughs> this is one of the actual approach or we can say the factual approach that is required so that that factual approach will be given with the management so the management that depends that depends on the customer focus that depends on the continual improvement mutually vivek of uh, mutually beneficial supplier relationship involvement of people factual approach uh, system approach process approach leadership customer focus these are the various tools these are the various eight uh, quality management principles that we can say that is used in the management so these are the eight principles that we are going to carry with the management that includes customer focus that includes the continual improvement mutually beneficial data involvement of the people factual approach system approach then process approach and at last there is a leadership so these are the eight principle that that is that is that is used in the management of these are the eight quality principles quality management principle that is used over here now, let's talk about the, uh, we have discussed about the customer focus, that is, what is the customer focus? Whenever we are focusing on the customer, so what, what's over the organization that depends on their customer and therefore should understand the current and the future customer needs, also meets the customer requirements, also strive to exceed the customer expectations. What are the various customer expectations that is carried out that is focused on the customer needs and what's over the organization that depends on their customer, that depends on the data or the current expect about the future expect about the customer needs that also used 
to the customer requirement and strive to exceed the customer expectations. Now, who are the customers? That are the lifeblood of every organization and all the organization provide something to do others or to others. They do not exist in the isolation. So they do not exist in the isolation. They are available in the data. They are available in the uh, procedure. And we should remember that the customers are not only purchasers, but any, any person or organization that receives a product or the services that is used for the non-profit organization that is used with the customer focus that puts into satisfy customer so customer focus in the sense we have to satisfy with the customer we are taking the inward seeking focus to the outward seeking process but what is the outward seeking process what is the inward seeking process that is carried out with the data and profit is also needed to gain the data to access the data that is used with the process So that is used with the customer focus so that means organizing the work as a process that converts customer needs into the satisfied customer that means main main focus in the customer because our main king is the customer it means that all the processes poses or processes or process of customer focus that means customer focus means customer is satisfied at at the end customer is satisfied this is the main target of the customer focus and also uh, this principle also means that everyone in the organization needs to be customer focused not simply the top management of the sales person but also the people that were asked themselves about the decisions about the matter that is need to be considered that is need to be taken out so that organization that uh, that that begins or that begins to use that begins to move self focus firmly in the direction of its customer what is the main direction of its customer what is going on and how it is carried out with the customer focuses and the customer may also want the ISO 9000 certification, but in reality, it is the business improvement that may be needed that is used with the ISO 9000 certificate that may appear appears to give satisfaction initially. That is used with the uh, with the with the customer slowly a satisfaction that is used with the customer analysis and the customer focus principle is also reflected in the ISO 9001 through the requirement addressing. So that, that customer focus is, is used with the communication with the customer, care for the customer property, determination of the customer needs and the expectations, appointment of a management representative training, management commitment. So that is the management commitment that is also used over here, that is also used in the management commitment that is used with ISO 9001 standard. Then next one is leadership. Leadership in the sense, what are the various leadership that is used? So leaders also establish the unity of the purpose and the direction of the purpose. What is the main unity? What is the main purpose of the direction? Or what is the main purpose that is used? They should create and maintain the internal environment in which people can become fully, fully, fully responsible, fully involved in enhancing the data in achieving the organization objective. What is the main target of achieving the organization objective? What is the main rule that is used in achieving this one? And leaders also exist at all the levels in the organization that may include from the accretion that is includes with the motivation whatsoever the data that is acquired then involvement of the people this is also a principle that if people is involved at all that means people are involved at each and every phase of the data at each and every phase of the content that is <coughs> that is open to each and everyone to people at all the levels are the essence of an organization and their full f involvement enables their ability to use or to be used for the organization benefit. That is uncommon for those affected by the decision to be absent from the discussion with the decision makers. Then decisions also stand the test of time that are more likely to be made when they, they these are affected, when those are affected by them that is involved. And whosoever the employees that cannot employ a part of the person, they take the whole person on none at all. And every person has a knowledge and experience that beyond the use or the beyond the usage that is that is available beyond the job he or she has assigned to perform. Some are leaders in the community, some are architects, some are building projects and the expeditions. And no one is limited in the knowledge and the experience to the current job they do. And this principle means that the management have a responsibility, management have a contribution that utilizes their personal experience. It also means that 
<laughs> that the management should be open, not hide its discussion unless and until business security measures will be used. So unless and until uh, major security measures will be used, it cannot be threatened, it cannot be used. And there's a closed door management that also leads to the data that also leads to a distress among the among the workforce and the manager should be seen to operate with the integrity and this also means involving the people and whatsoever the involvement whatsoever the data that people that principle is reflected in the ISO through the requirement addressing so first one is participation in the design review then defining the objective responsibilities and authorities then creating an environment in which people are motivated then internal communication after that there is identify customer identify competence needs what is the competence need that is acquired that is used with the recorded material The next one is the process approach. Now, next one is a process approach, how it is used and how it is acquired with a process approach. That means main focus is on the approach, main focus is on the uh, output results. So a desired result is achieved more efficiently when related resources and activities. Whatsoever the resources, whatsoever the activities that has been carried out that are managed as a process. That is more achievable, that is more achieved more effectively when the related resources and the activities are managed as a process. And all work is a process because it takes the input and convert these into the output and whatever the organization resources whatever the organization sends these, these resources such processes are used to, that gives the add the value to the input add the value to the input in the sense but what's over the input that is acquired <coughs> and every job also requires every job also involves the people or the machine it could be the resources performing a series of the tasks to produce an output no matter what is the task the no matter how simple the task, there is always an objective or reason for doing it. The consumption of the resources and the expenditure of the energy, sequence of the actions, decisions concerning their correctness, judgment of the completeness and the output, which shows be that what was expected. What is expected was what expected with the data. And that is also used with the management interest, that is also used with the project management, that is used with the process, that is capable of producing the rubbish as a process or procedure that is capable of wasting the resources. Therefore, each and every process needs to be examined, needs to be managed effectively uh, for, the, for the required result to be produced. And the process approach to the management is therefore not simply converting the input into the output, but also the limit that is producing, that is used for managing the processes that also clarify the customer that also clarify the desired defined output input processes uh, approaches whatsoever approaches that is used that includes the identity of the process then what are the various systematic a system approach to the management that means identifying understanding managing interrelated process as a system that means each and every each and every approach each and every we can say that term that is either using the identifying understanding managing interrelated processes that is also also contributed with the system that is also contributed with the organization efficiency that involves efficiency in achieving the objectives that is used with the system that is used as a say, order set of the ideas principles and theories or a chain of the operation that produce specific results to be a chain of the operation, the operations need to work together in a regular relationship and taking a system approach to management means managing the organization as a system of processes so that all the processes fit together, all the inputs and outputs are corrected. That means everything is available with the scenario, everything is available with the content that is also that feeds the data, that feeds the content that is available with the desired outcome. What's over the desired outcome, what's over the desired scenario that is used. And this, this principle is reflected this to the addressing uh, one is establishing implementing and maintaining the management system interconnection interrelation and the sequence of the processes the links between the processes and establishing the management or measurement processes so first one is a continual improvement that means continue improvement continue improvement in the sense everything is improved on a continue basis not not that one improved then next to improve next to no everything is improved on a continuous basis that is a continual improvement 
that also affects the overall that also increases the overall performance that should be a permanent objective of the organization that means everyone in the organization should be continually uh, approaching with the performance that seeking the ways to reduce the variations continually from the desired out Then this standard, that is ISO 9000-2000 standard, also defined the continual improvement as a recurring activity to increase the ability to fulfill the requirements. And improvement is therefore relative to the time scales, to the time bound. And if the improvement recurs once in a week, for example, if the improvement recurs once in a week, that means everything is available, everything is used with the data once a month, once a year, or once every five years. It depends on the data, that depends on the requirement of the data. So the, if the improvement, the improvement occurs or reoccurs once a day, once a month, once a year, or once every five years, that is considered as a recurring. That means everything is recurred, everything is recurred means everything is possible with the data. So when targeted as a specific characteristic, so that will be used, it will be also used for reducing the variations in the major characteristics and when targeted as a specific product, it also involves the major modification, major data, product upgrade and everything that is possible with the product requirements. So continuous or the continual improvement principle is reflected through the requirement addressing. Now there are three phases in this one. First one is improvement processes, then identifying the process, identifying the improvement, then review the documents. First of all, the document that is reviewing up. So review the documents and processes or find out the opportunities for the improvement. That means what is the improvement, how it is made, made and what is the scenario for making the improvement or, or, or what are the various phases by which we can improve the data, by which we can improve the content. Now, what are the various factual approaches to the decision making? What are the various facts that is used with the decision making? First one is effective decision must be desired are based on the analysis of the data and the information. What we analyze, what we realize, this depends on the data that depends on the data and the information. And facts are also obtained from the observation performed by the qualified personnel using devices, the integrity of which is known, and the factual approach is also used with the decision making that leads to the certain curiosity, that leads to the certain data that is available with the, uh, with, the with the approaches, with the decision making approaches. Now, mutually beneficial supplier relationship. What is the mutual benefit? So what are the various beneficial requirements? What are the various beneficial instruments that is used today, that is used in the radio scenario that is a mutually benefit uh, related, supplier relationship? That is the next part. So there is a customer focus principle that drew our attention to the fact that organization depends on the position, depends on the customer, and it is also valid to state that organization depends on the suppliers, and suppliers provide the material. Whatsoever the material that is provided by the suppliers, so they provide the suppliers, they provide the material. Suppliers also provide the material resources and often very, very much services that, that were once provided by the internal functions. And this is reflected in the ISO 9001 through the requirement addressing. There's the control of the supplies, evaluation of the supplies, analysis and review of the supplier data. Then how to use the principles or what are the various principles that is included over here. So where is the customer focus in the process? Wherein the process is where leading or where the leading. Guiding policies. Then involvement of the people as a design process, making the decisions, then fast collected data, then alignment of the process with the business excellent model, then QC, that is a quality control, that is a part of the quality management that focus on fulfilling the requirement. What is the requirement? How to fulfill the requirement? What is the data that is required for the fulfilling the data? So that is the, that includes or that is divided into two parts, that is a business intelligent or business excellent concept and the ISO 9000 principles. 
So when it's continuing with the example, when it's continuing with the data, there's the approach for the public responsibility result orientation that is used with this one. And the simplest form of this data is the illustrated in figure 2.4. This is a generic control model that is used over here. This is a diagram that shows how to use a generic control model. What is the generic control model that is defined? That is defined with the requirement. What is what is one is a requirement that is taken out? Then there is a plan. After the plan, there is a corrective measure. So the corrective plan that is used. After the corrective plan, there is a do. That means after the planning, there is a do part. After that, there is a check part. Check in the sense, what is the condition that is to be checked? After the checking part, there is a confirm. Whether you are confirming with the product or the service. That means whether you are confirming that the product or the service that you confirmed with the various we can say that uh, that is valid or not if it is yes then it is going to the no so this is the yes part this is the product or service that is developed and this is the no part that is a feedback loop that means first is the requirement then there is a plan after the planning there is a do after do there is a check after check there is a confirms after confirms there is a product or services if yes if no then uh, there is a feedback loop that is considered that is also used as a remedial action or the corrective action and that is used with the figure 2.5 that is explained with figure, figure 2.5 there is a need, there is a development of the control, there is a corrective action, there is a reason why we are holding the product, why we are taking the product in a remedial actions, why, 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 why there is a control, why there is a need for the control. So control before the event, so thumb failure cannot be allowed to occur or must be prevented from happening. Those rigorous planning and the design and one example is a use of the planning, is a use of the reliability prediction that performs before the design is completed or before the usage is completed. What's over the design, what's over the usage that is available, so that, that the design will be performed before the event then during the event after the event there are three parts before the event during the event and then after the event so there are three parts in this one then after this one there is a quality control as a label so we are using the quality control as a label that means the name of the department for example I'm using that uh, quality confirm or quality department performs operation inspection and the test activity what's over the test activity that names it derived from the data named is derived from the authority that such departments have a given and they also sort the good products from the bad product and also authorize the release of the good product and it also common to find that the quality control department also performs the supplier control activity which are known as a supplier quality assurance for the vendor control that are authorized to realize the product from the suppliers to the organizations in the case of the manufacturing in the case of the analysis of the data and these are the various steps that can accomplish the control of the quality or anything else for what matter that determines what parameter is to be controlled establish the criticality and uh, whether you need to control before during and after the results are produced then establish a specification for the parameters to be controlled then produces the plan collect and transmit the data to a place for the analysis then verify or diag diagnosize that is how to use the data how to re release the data in the content then propose remedies and decide on the actions needed to restore the status or the queue so what are the various status queue that is available so that the status will be designed the status will be used for defining the content for designing the content so take the aggregate action